For as long as we've been studying the science and history of our universe, the Big Bang has been the explanation for everything. There have been hundreds of studies and thousands of scientists working on the research, and according to the data, the Big Bang has been the leading theory explaining how the universe formed. Dark energy was believed to be the largest source of energy, even larger than galaxies. Dark energy is the anti-gravitational force that creates the expansion of the universe. But science today is very different from what it was before, and with technological improvements come new theories. We often realize that things we thought were 100% true are far from being true. Okay, that just happened again. The images captured by the James Webb Telescope of new galaxies are impressive. But to scientists, they are surprising and challenging. These galaxies are smaller, smoother, older, and more numerous than expected, causing panic among them. These images directly contradict the Big Bang hypothesis, which has been considered an unquestionable truth. The observed galaxies are much smaller than predicted for an expanding universe, and their smoothness and age also defy expectations. Furthermore, the number of galaxies observed is much larger than predicted, raising questions about the accuracy of the Big Bang hypothesis. According to the Big Bang theory, at the beginning of the universe, all the matter, energy and fundamental blocks of the cosmos were compressed into an extremely small and dense point, called a singularity. The infinite density within the singularity implied an enormous amount of mass and energy concentrated in a tiny space. Subsequently, the universe experienced expansion and inflation for approximately 13.7 billion years, giving rise to the formation of galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures. Cosmic inflation played a key role in smoothing out irregularities, homogenizing the distribution of matter and energy, and setting the stage for the evolution of the universe as we know it today. As the universe expanded, its rate of expansion slowed, but it still continued to expand in a measurable way, known as cosmic expansion. This expansion has been observed through the redshift of light from distant galaxies. During this process, since the Big Bang, the universe has undergone transformations and nucleosynthesis, the creation of light elements such as hydrogen and helium. These elements laid the foundations for the formation of stars, galaxies, and more complex cosmic structures. The existence of the cosmic background radiation, CMB, is significant evidence of the Big Bang Theory, as it aligns with its predictions and supports the idea that the universe had a hot and dense state before its expansion. Taken together, these pieces of evidence provide strong support for the Big Bang Theory. The cosmic background radiation, CMB, offers us a window into the beginnings of the universe confirming the Big Bang Theory as the most accurate explanation of its origins. Several lines of evidence support this theory, such as the redshift in distant galaxies, which shows the continuing expansion of the universe. In addition, the abundance of light elements and the distribution of large-scale galaxies are also consistent with Big Bang predictions. The gravitational force has been essential in shaping the distribution of matter and the formation of galaxies, and the filamentary and lattice structure we observe aligns with the gravitational effects predicted by theory. Taken together, this evidence supports the idea that the universe began in a hot, dense state and has evolved through expansion over billions of years. Images from the James Webb Space Telescope challenge what Big Bang theorists thought about the growth of galaxies. Small galaxies were expected to evolve into larger galaxies through collisions and mergers, but observations show smooth, well-organized galaxies, calling into question the frequency of these processes. This suggests that galaxies were never small to begin with. Furthermore, the optical illusion predicted by the expansion of the universe, where objects appear smaller with distance, has not been found. As for stars, their color can help determine their age since their lifetime is related to the amount of fuel they burn. The James Webb Space Telescope has observed distant galaxies that appear to be older than expected based on the Big Bang Theory. 
Some of these galaxies show stellar populations over a billion years old, which contradicts the idea that nothing should have existed before the Big Bang itself. Furthermore, the James Webb images have revealed a large number of massive galaxies, challenging the premise that the number of galaxies would decrease with distance in the past. These findings call into question the plausibility of the Big Bang theory. It is interesting to note that the Big Bang theory features 16 incorrect predictions in the scientific literature, which is significant. For example, the estimate of the abundance of helium and lithium is higher than expected, and there are unexplained phenomena, such as the absence of the expected illusion of the size of objects as distance increases. Despite these contradictions, criticism of the theory has not been widely disseminated in the media, possibly due to resistance from certain groups and the reliance on funding for cosmology research from sources controlled by supporters of the Big Bang Theory. This situation can make it difficult to obtain funding for alternative research and hinder scientific progress in exploring other theories. Years ago, if researchers could fund their own cosmology research as a side quest, they still had a chance to publish heretical papers. However, the system also blocked them. Those documents were often ignored by the established cosmological community. As the crisis within the field of cosmology became apparent in 2019, the cosmological establishment rallied to protect the failed Big Bang Theory through censorship, as it lacks alternative defenses. It has now become extremely difficult to publish papers that are critical of the Big Bang Theory in astronomical journals. Even if someone wrote a document, it is likely that he would never see the light of day. This brings us to a crossroads point. If the Big Bang Theory isn't really accurate, how could the universe have formed? Surprisingly, there are a few theories that could explain it all. The steady state theory is one of the most popular and proposes an alternative explanation for the nature and origin of the universe. According to this theory, the universe is in a perpetual and unchanging state which means that it has always existed and will continue to exist indefinitely. Unlike the Big Bang Theory, which suggests a point at which the universe began, the steady state theory suggests that it has always been there. One of the key aspects of this theory is the concept of continuous creation, which proposes that matter is constantly being created throughout the universe to compensate for the apparent expansion of space. In other words, as galaxies and other celestial objects recede from each other, new matter is continually generated to fill in the empty spaces and maintain a consistent matter density in the universe. This idea of continuous creation serves as a way to explain the observed expansion of the universe without the need for a singular event like the Big Bang. Another theory is that of eternal inflationism which introduces the idea that our universe is just one component in a much larger multiverse. According to this theory, the multiverse consists of numerous bubble universes, each with its own unique set of physical laws and properties. These universal bubbles exist alongside one another, occupying separate regions within the larger multiverse. The key feature of the theory of eternal inflationism is inflation which refers to the rapid expansion of the universe that is believed to have occurred shortly after the Big Bang. In this theory, inflation is not a single event limited to the initial stages of our universe's existence, but rather an ongoing process that continues to take place in specific regions of the multiverse. During periods of inflation, certain regions within the multiverse experience rapid and exponential expansion leading to the creation of new universe bubbles within those regions. Each newly formed universe within the multiverse possesses its own distinct physical laws, constants, and properties, resulting in a vast collection of diverse universes. There is also the cyclic universe model, which proposes a pattern in which the universe goes through a series of repeating cycles. Each cycle begins with a Big Bang, a tremendous explosion that marks the birth of a new universe, and concludes with a big crunch. A dramatic collapse where the universe collapses back into a highly dense and hot state. In this model, 
The universe goes through an expansion phase after the initial Big Bang. During this expansion, galaxies, stars, and other cosmic structures form, and the universe gradually becomes larger and less dense. But the expansion eventually slows down and reverses due to the pull of gravity exerted by matter and energy in the universe. As the expansion slows, the universe enters a contraction phase known as the Big Crunch. During this phase, the universe becomes more and more compressed and denser, leading to a highly compact state. Ultimately, all matter and energy in the universe is concentrated at a singularity, a point of infinite density and temperature. After the Big Crunch, a new cycle begins with another Big Bang, and the process repeats itself, leading to an eternal cycle of expansion, contraction, and rebirth. These theories offer interesting explanations for the existence of multiple universes and the remarkable diversity observed in our own universe. Could this be the ultimate proof we need to discredit the Big Bang Theory? Let us know which side of the argument you stand on in the comments below. If you like this video please give it a thumbs up and as always see you in the next one.